Okay, this is Lisa and I am back to work on the mirror command now. Mirror is a really useful command because what it does is it copies things symmetrically around a line as is shown on that little sketch. You can kind of see how that works. You can press F1 for more help, but I'm going to show you how I use it. Okay, so for example, if I want to copy this line over to this side, I would select the mirror command. It says down here, select objects, so select the objects you want to mirror. Select. Okay, I want it on the other side of that line. So I'm going to select that endpoint. So what you're doing here is you're selecting a line for the uh, that the object will mirror around. So you have to kind of visualize what's going to happen. So it's saying, okay, if you draw this line from here to there, if the mirror line is there, then the line will wind up there. If the mirror line is straight down, it goes just like that, which is what we're after. Okay, so you really just need to think about what the line of symmetry needs to be. And that, a, a, a way I use this a lot is, I'm going to copy myself some windows over here. Well, actually, I use this to draw this roof. So, for example, uh, when I started on this elevation, I didn't have, all I had was these lines. I'm going to erase this. I just had these lines. I didn't have this half of the roof. So I wanted that half of the roof over there. So I selected this. Well, wait a second. Okay, so I select the mirror command. And then I selected the objects I wanted to copy. And then I selected the midpoint of my line, which I forced by typing. And then I selected the endpoint of the line to get it straight. Okay. So you pick the first point of the mirror line, you pick the second point of the mirror line, and then it says erase source objects. So you could use it to move objects from one side of a mirror line to the other. But in this case, I'm going to say no, I don't want to erase the source objects. And there they are. Um, I use this a lot to get a symmetrical elevation. So I'm going to move these windows. Or actually, no, I'm going to copy these windows over to that line there. Okay, notice here it says specify vice point. I'm going to choose this midpoint here. I want them to align with the midpoint of this line. So I've got the midpoint selected and I'm going to go down until I have Do I not have polar on? Let me make sure I've got polar on. Show my line rate. Color track. There we go. Okay. So midpoint. To the intersection. Okay, so there those are. Okay, so now if I want mirrored version of those windows, I choose the mirror. It says select objects, so I select the objects I want to mirror. Click. Am I done selecting objects? Yes. I hit enter. Now it says pick the first point of the mirror line. Well, I'm going to choose this line right here that I drew for the purpose from the endpoint. Come on. It did not pick it. Okay, so from the endpoint to And now it's mirroring. The easiest way to use this is to have ortho on because then you just go straight up and you're done. 
Erase the source objects, no. Voila, I have Windows. So those are the steps. You choose the command, you select the objects you want to mirror, you hit enter, you choose, the, you choose points on the line that it mirrors around, click, click, and then you tell it what to do. Let, let's do this one one more time, okay? So, just so you can see it, and I'm going to talk you through it. Whoops. Redo. Okay, so, first you click Mirror, then you select your objects. I'm selecting them with a window, an inside window. Click, after you're done selecting your objects, to enter. Select the first point of your mirror line, endpoint. Okay, and the second point is also an endpoint. Click. Erase source objects. Yes or no? I say no. And you're done. My computer is running really, really slow on this. Okay, I hope that helps. Thanks so much.